welcome back in this video i'm going to show how to launch an instance from snapshots uh, before i'm i'm going to do some configuration in ubuntu instance that i have previously created and i'm going to install a parsing and do us and configure a simple website in uh, in the apache that is that's going to run in an instance and then after that i'm going to perform a snapshot for that instance and launch an instance from the snapshots that i created so these are the basic steps. At the beginning, I log in in my account and I go to my compute engine where my VM instance is running. And as you can see, my instance is running, is in a running status, has an external IP and has all the necessary configurations that's going to run the Apache on the simple website. And also I have turned on the firewall. So the HTTP and HTTPS are all on. If you have not uh, turned on them, you might have problems from the website. So I would recommend to edit and to turn them on. Um, after that, I have a GitHub account. Here is my files for my website. This is actually a very simple website and uh, it's not a real resume, but uh, something that I have created just for demonstration reason. Um, so here is my terminal and I'm going to run G uh, Cloud command. Right here. You can uh, you can do this in a two different ways. You can you can access your account through the terminal, or you can uh, you can access your uh, account through the browser, which is the first option here. I have shown in another video how to provision the account, or you can do it through the G Cloud command. still running anyway um, or you can run through the browser or through your terminal whichever is easy for you uh, let's run through the browser we do a sudo apt update we usually every time we run the instances we perform an update so the operating system it's going to have the lastest update of your system and after we have performed the update, we can run sudo install yes. Uh, to configure, if Apache is configured normally, we can access the public IP or external IP of the instance. And by default, it's going to run the Apache Ubuntu default page. Uh, this means that Apache in your instance is running normally. If you don't run normally, then something went wrong. Maybe your HTTPS uh, is uh, the, the configuration of your instance are not allowing, like the HTTP and HTTP in the firewall. This section here is not on. Or you might need to start and enable the Apache uh, in your operating system. So now we are ready. And after that, we have ready the instance here. We're going to clone our repositories that we have in the Google Cloud. We go, we clone by copying the HTTPS link. We go first, we make sure that the Git is installed. So it is installed, then Git clone, and then copy paste the URL of HTTPS from the repository of uh, in your uh, GitHub account. And now my repository is cloned. And if I do an alas, I can see that here is my folder and when I go inside the folder I 
can see that there is my files. And these files has to go in the configuration, in the location where, uh, a, where the Apache can recognize as a file, uh, as a file of your website. So it's sudo copy and index dot html which is this file here saved in this location it's gonna go in var w html html this is the location that apache has for the uh, default folder that apache has for the website so copy sudo copy and then I'm going to do the other Vion CCS var w HTML. So I can go to this location and make sure that my files are ready and are already copy and they are ready in my in the specific location that Apache has for the files of the website. So now everything should be ready. This is a, a configuration by using the default files of Apache for uh, configuring your website. And now my website should run in the external IP if I copy. Now is my website that is not a real website, but just a demonstration one that is running in this um, in this instance. Uh, so these are some very, very basic configuration for a demonstration website. Now, let's suppose now I'm going to perform the snapshot before we do the other steps. We have first to do the snapshot. And for this snapshot, I'm going to perform a manual one or you can go to disks or you can go to snapshots. If you go and create a snapshot here, you choose snapshot one. This is a demo. And here you have instance snapshots or this instant snapshot or disk snapshots. I'm gonna do the disk one. You're gonna choose the source disk, which in this case is the instance that you want to snapshot the disk. And this is the name. And I'm going to do a snapshot from all the types. And the others or other version of doing the snapshots, which is not part of my video and is reasonable. You can choose Oregon or you can choose other regions. Uh, let's say that you can use in Dallas. You don't have to save your snapshot in the same region where you're um, where your uh, where your um, your instance is running. In case that the region where your instance is having problems, uh, you can uh, recover the snapshots from another region. So the problems that that region has doesn't affect the the region where your snapshot is saved. So I'm gonna create it. Take some time. So this comment it shows the at least the sna snapshot. Actually, the snapshot one is in uploading status. So it's still in uploading. And now it shows here in uh, in my comment prompt, it shows that it's ready. And 
when the status of the snapshot is ready, it means that the snapshot was performed correctly without any error. If something is different in the status, then uh, the, the snapshot maybe is not performed successfully, is still in the process or in other status. So the snapshot is ready. It gives the information of the size of the snapshots, uh, the name of the source where the snapshot has been, in which disk the snapshot was performed, and uh, some kind of information that you might, uh, might uh, need to know before you start launching the new instance. So let's go back and suppose for any reason our instance that we have created for our website it's having a problem or by accident is deleted. So we have lost every configuration or everything that we have been doing in our instance. After we have performed the snapshot, we have still the chance to recover our disk and to recover all the information that we had in that time when we did the snapshot in, in a new instance. So we are deleting the instance. It's going to take some time to delete resources. <clears throat> Compute instances list. So it's in the process of stopping. This is the command that shows the status of the of the instance, we can close this connection since it's finished almost. Now we have lost our instance and uh, there is still chances to recover and that is the advantages of performing snapshots uh, of your instance. So we can go to create. There are different way how you can find the, the snapshot option. We choose the name of the instance, instance recover, dash. We choose the area, B, A2. Then we choose the medium, micro. And then in the put disk here, we do changes. We go, let's go again in the snapshot. So not in the public image images, we go in snapshots. We choose the option snapshot one that was created. Here we choose snapshot one, which was the name of the, the snapshot that we have created. We leave balance persistent disk. We create it. It gives every time it uh, uploads, even gives information about the cost. We allow HTTPS and we create it. So it's in staging and we give enough time for the instance to make everything, all the sources running. So my instance is running. Now I can access my instance through browser. going to connect. Uh, so we are ready. We can do an alas and see that here is my uh, repository when I copy paste <coughs> from the GitHub. And we can go to the location where my files should be saved for the Apache. <coughs> Let's go HTM, HTML, and here are saved all the information, index, HTML, and style 
HTML. And you can see when index HTML. <clears throat> if you want to see if everything is saved in your folders and files, so by force we see everything that we have in the instance that was deleted or we lost it, we were able to recover after we launched an instance through the snapshot of that instance. We also can copy this external IP and run. And our website is back. So even though we lost the instance, we were able to recover all the information from the instance from the snapshot that we created uh, through uh, from the from the previous instance that we had before losing it. So this is a way how you can recover your information from the instance, and also this is a way how you can uh, create a manual uh, snapshots. Snapshot is a method that is uh, is widely used as a very basic form of uh, backup. And uh, uh, the compute engine uh, gives you this uh, possibility uh, to create snapshots for, the, for your instances. And also it has different prices, uh, depend on the configuration or depend on the size of the, in, uh, of the snapshots that you're going to create for your instance. 